aids to navigation are lighthouses, lightships, radio beacons, fog signals, buoys, and beacons. Navigational aids assist mariners to make landfalls when approaching from seaward. They are used to mark isolated dangers, as in this case where a buoy is used to mark a hidden obstruction. <coughs> Correct use of navigational aids make it possible for vessels to follow natural and improved channels. A continuous chain of charted marks is thus provided for coastal and intracoastal piloting. Let us consider in more detail the distinguishing characteristics of navigational aids. How can you tell, for example, this lighthouse from this one? Types of construction and materials differentiate them. Thus, observation of the lighthouse's structure is the first step in identifying a lighthouse. Here is type number one a well-known masonry structure. Lighthouses equipped with radio beacons have antennas adjacent to the light tower. Then there is the cylindrical tower type, a square house on a cylindrical base. Also the cylindrical caisson structure. And the skeleton iron structure. Another distinguishing characteristic of lighthouses is their color. They may be painted in solid colors, in bands of color, or they may be painted in a varied pattern. Lighthouses are most often identified at night by their lights. All lights, whether on lighthouses or lightships, have four main characteristics. Color of light, length of light period, number of flashes per cycle, and visibility of light. Standard light colors are white, red, and green. Length of light periods means simply variations of the periods of light and darkness. The number of flashes per cycle of light varies with different lighthouses. Visibility of light also distinguishes one lighthouse from another. In order to fully understand the information that lights convey, it is essential that you recognize various types of light. This is the fixed light. It is continuous and steady. The flashing type. A single flash at regular intervals. Fixed and flashing. A fixed light varied by one or more flashes of greater brilliance or different colors. Group flashing showing groups of flashes at regular intervals. Occulting, a steady light totally eclipsed at intervals. Occulting lights differ from flashing lights in this respect. The light periods of occulting lights are equal to or greater than the dark period, while the light periods of flashing lights are shorter than dark periods. Next, the group occulting type. A steady light totally eclipsed by a group of two or more eclipses. Finally, the alternating light, which shows an alternation of colors at regular periods.
Many lighthouses situated in sections where fog or low visibility is prevalent are equipped with fog signals. Fog signals aid in identifying lighthouses by means of the distinctive characteristic of the signal. The sound or tone of the signal is one means of identification. The number of blasts of the horn at stated intervals also helps in determining what lighthouse it is. Many lighthouses have radio beacons or signals which send out radio signals in all directions for the guidance of mariners. Frequencies and characteristic signals of radio beacons help mariners to identify lighthouses. Light ships serve the same purpose as lighthouses. They mark dangerous shoals and the entrances to important harbors or estuaries. They also serve as leading marks for transoceanic and coastwise traffic. However, some light ships are recalled from their stations in time of war. Lights on other light ships may be extinguished to diminish the submarine menace. All light ships in United States waters, except Lake Huron and Ambrose light ships, are painted red, with the name of the station in large white letters on both sides. Masthead lights on light ships, her fog signals, and her radio beacon signals all have definite characteristics so that each light ship may be distinguished from other light ships and from nearby lighthouses. Types of lights on light ships are the same as those on lighthouses. Let us briefly review them. Fixed, flashing, fixed and flashing, group flashing light, occulting, Group occulting, and the alternating light. Remember these types of lights. They will be valuable to you in identifying lighthouses and lightships.